Hi there, I'm Dan Conway and today we're going to have a look at the new Furuno Time Zero Touch product. Another feature of the built-in Wi-Fi is the ability to connect in iOS devices. So here we have here an iPad, an iPhone and my TZ Touch. These are all linked in together talking to this unit via the built-in Wi-Fi. A really amazing feature and as we can see we've got two different modes. We've got this one here which is reading me out digital data, much like an instrument. I can pan through those and have a look at the different information that's available currently on my network. The other app that we've got here is the full controller app. This is literally full control. You can do everything you can do on your device straight from your iPad. Okay, what we're going to do is show you each app individually. Uh, both these apps are available currently on the App Store and they're both free, so why not download them and have a look for yourself? Okay, this is the remote viewer app. This allows me to view the data that's available on my network. It also allows me to view my fish finder. To start with, we're going to have a look at the data. So we click on the data tab. We've got some presets already configured for us, but I can also create my own. Uh, for today, we're going to have a look at our navigation data, I think. So here we go. We've got four screens independently there. If they're too small, I can double click them and make them larger and then pan through them nice and easily. With all the information getting filtered in from the TZT unit. Okay, so the other thing we can do on the uh, on this app is change the display. So I'm going to change it in here and make it more set up for night mode. And go in, change my colours to dark, and then go back to my app. And we have a really clear, crisp display that you can see in any light conditions. Okay, the other feature of this uh, app is the ability to put in your fish finder. So you can have three people looking at your fish finder simultaneously. The other feature is you can go backwards through history and find out what you might have missed as you've gone past. It's a really cool little feature which could be really handy if you're on the back of your boat looking for some fish. Okay, so you've seen the remote viewer app. Now we're going to have a look at the full remote app. So, on my iPad screen here, I click on the remote app, it pops up a direct picture of what's on my TZT screen. This is linked via Wi-Fi and it's not just a one-way link. I've got full control over this straight from my iPad. So I don't have to be in front of my unit to have full control over my nav gear. Uh, the other features that we've got available to us are things like our pinch to zoom. A really cool little feature that you can have anywhere in your, in your boat, just in your hands. So we showed you earlier the routing features of the Time Zero Touch. What we're going to do is show you again, but all from the iPad. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put in a new route directly from my iPad. So I'm going to touch my screen in my start position and click on new route. I get my little start flag and then I can go around, touch my screen in all the points where I want my waypoints. Once I've got my waypoints in there and they're, they're correct, I'm, I'm happy with them, I click my end route button and save my route. So we've got a full route plugged in there straight from my iPad. But not only that, I can then activate it by touching my route and clicking activate. Another great use of the app is the ability to swap over and have a look at different information. For example, we can go and have a check on our weather straight from our iPad. So I select my weather page, and as soon as it loads up, I've got a full weather forecast straight on my iPad. So press play and, and initiate that animation. What we're looking at here is wave heights, pressure and wind. A really cool little thing that you can do in the evenings planning your next day's itinerary.